We've been hearing lots about viral illnesses on the rise for several weeks, and now that trend is continuing. Yeah, you know, doctors say the wild swings in weather aren't helping matters either. And our own Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to break things down for us. So, Doc, what's going around? Well, Karen and DeMond, you know, we get a pretty good idea of it from the CVS Mini Clinics because they have locations all across Metro Detroit. And this week, they report COVID is taking a huge lead when it comes to sick visits across the region with varying degrees of symptoms. Now, add in a lot of other viruses and weather related breathing problems, and you get a pretty good picture of what healthcare providers are seeing. Here's what's going around where you live. In Wayne County, COVID tops the list with sinus infections on the rise, too. Dr. Kevin Daisy at Children's Hospital is seeing kids with very severe asthma triggered by viral illnesses and weather changes. Common colds are frequent, too. And Dr. Christopher Lowe at Ascension St. John is treating lots of patients suffering from fall allergies. Checking out Oakland County, Dr. Stephen McGraw at Ascension Providence says COVID is on the rise along with strep throat. Dr. David Donaldson at Corwell Health Beaumont in Troy is seeing an increase in mono, especially in adults, plus some RSV and influenza. At Henry Ford Bloomfield Township, Dr. Rena Deza reports some cases of hand, foot, and mouth disease. Looking at Washtenaw County, Dr. Brad Uran at Michigan Medicine is seeing lots of COVID and upper respiratory infections in general. Stomach viruses are trending down by comparison. Doctors' offices report asthma flare-ups and fall allergy complaints. The health department is tracking sporadic cases of flu. Heading to Monroe County, ProMedica Monroe Regional reports an uptick in positive COVID cases and an increase in respiratory problems. Doctors' offices are seeing those asthma complications. Moving to Macomb County, Dr. Michael Mattingly at McLaren Macomb reports a steady number of COVID cases and many patients with upper respiratory infections. Henry Ford doctors in Sterling Heights and Richmond are treating kids with hand, foot, and mouth disease. Infected bug bites continue to be seen, so be sure to use repellent at dusk and dawn. The CVS Mini Clinics are treating some head lice. Finally, in Livingston County, Trinity Health Livingston and the Brighton Medical Center are seeing an increase in respiratory problems and an increase in patients being admitted for COVID. Asthma and fall allergies are causing problems as well. Now, asthma is hitting particularly hard in kids right now. In fact, Children's Hospital says on one recent day, they had almost an entire inpatient floor of young patients with asthma or another breathing issue. So be sure your kids are taking their medications, and if they're still having problems, you need to talk to their doctor. All right, so, Doc, we're seeing the signs that flu vaccines are available, and now COVID boosters are available. Yeah. Is this a good time to get those done? Yeah, I think that's actually pretty reasonable. You know, with the flu vaccine in particular, we generally say by the end of October, but we're frankly starting to see some flu pop up sporadically now, so it's really not too early. And obviously, COVID is already circulating widely again, so particularly if you are at high risk, you should make that appointment to get the COVID vaccine.